Ooh, what is going on guys and welcome back to the Griffin Outdoors channel. My name is Ty as always and today we are going to be doing some fishing behind us. I am at Long Cane Park. Uh, I don't remember the name of the lake that it is. I'll have to I'll look it up and I'll flash it on the, on the screen now. But we're at Long Cane Park in West Point, Georgia and we're going to go try and catch a fish. I got my pole right here and we are going to uh go uh go try and catch some fish. You know I got the trusty rooster tail on like usual. And we're gonna go try and catch something. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you see down here, beautiful lake. I thought that squirrel, that squirrel must just died. Let's see. Anyway, come on. We, well, we can start fishing if I can get my hook out. There we go. All right, see, the guy came by, one of the workers here, and said that the rooster tail's been very popular. So we'll see if we can get, a, get some hits here. That'll be sweet. Oh, oh my god, I'm already getting hit. Are you serious? <laughs> Immediately when I hit the water. Come on. Come back for it. Nothing. Let's see, let's try and get a little closer to shore. Like that. Oh, beautiful cast. Look at that. Serious? Got two little nibbles. Must be some small fish. Oh, what a cast! Right in the corner. Gotta find where these fish are. Come on. Where's the big one? See, I hold my rod next to the water like this because. It allows it to stay down more for longer. And if I see if I hold it like this, it just comes out the water. Well, we got a little breeze now. All right, come on, come on, money. Where is it? Where is the fish? Come on, fishy. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep throwing. We're going to hold throw horizontally, but keep going more out until we can find like the drop off they're in. So, let's go there first. I'm going to sort of toss as I see some little ones. Let it sink down. Well, that's a decent fish. That's a bass. That's a little bass. Is he bedded? What is he doing here? He doesn't seem to be that interested in it. That's a little largemouth bass. He is not interested at all. Dang. I guess the bass don't like this. Oh, look at this. This is a pretty cool area right here. Oh. Come on. Eat it. There's a ton of fish right here. Please eat it. Oh, they're chasing after it like a madman. They're too small to get this hook in their mouths. What in the heck is that? All right, well, bait change time. We'll go with a different type of rooster tail, I guess. Let's walk up here. I guess if we're walking up here anyway, we might as well throw this one. Look at this cool rock. Look at all the colors on it. That's, that's really neat. Let's throw this. Let's go off this point here with it. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? Not even a follow. They really hate this, don't they? Alright guys, as you see here, we have the green and orange uh, rooster tail with the um, chartreuse sort of tail. And we're going to come down here and we are going to see if this one will have us give us any more luck. I think it hopefully will. This thing, it looks very cool, so therefore it must catch us up there, right? Let's see, see if the reaction's any different. I hope they just didn't follow this one at all. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh no. Nice cast. Like decent size bluegills followed that in too. Eat it. These are like smart bluegills or something. I don't know. All right, time check complete. It's a uh, 9:43, so we have 17 minutes left because I've been here since eight, and my goal was to spend two hours here before we moved on. So we have 17 minutes before uh, I need to be heading out. So I have it all scheduled out so I can get everything done. Uh, before be get every all the activities done that I wanted to do on the way up to the mountains today and also have time like a reasonable time to um set up camp and explore around the campsite a little bit and cook dinner and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna have to make some magic happen probably in 10 minutes because we have to walk back so we'll, we'll stay we'll be here till what is it 943 like 953 We'll walk back. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll walk down to the boat ramp, see if we can make some magic happen here in a in a split second. Oh, I like this. Let's see. Try not eat eat dirt here. There we go. There's a decent bit. Is that a bass? That might be a bass, guys. Right, so the thing I'm going to do is we're going to come down here and we're like going to cast across the rocks like that. Better idea, better idea. We're gonna go on this beach and we're gonna cast along this log. Oh yeah, see if there's a large mouth coming out under there, crush this little thing. That would be freaking awesome. I've caught large mouth on smaller stuff than this. Caught a large mouth on a tiny a large mouth once. Tiny tiny jig head that I was I was trying to go for bluegill. And I caught a about a pound bass. It was crazy. Why are we why have we hooked the eye of the rod? I'm not ready to leave yet. Oh my gosh, this, this kills me. Big money, big money. Perfect. Alrighty, oh, sunglasses all janky. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was unfortunate. I thought for sure we'd catch something there. Uh, yeah, we didn't do so good. We might have to look at something, trying some else on the rooster tails, which is why I hate to say it. But the good news is that the next place we're going is also a fishing spot on the same lake. This lake is actually freaking huge. And so it's, um, we're going 20 minutes away to another park on this lake. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head over there. And at the end of this video, we'll do all the drive updates and stuff to get over there. All right. All right. We have, we're 17 minutes out. 
All right, we just turned on to US 29 North. We got six miles. Then we're turning left on a road called Fling Road. Very interesting. All right. Would you look at that? We have arrived at McGee Bridge Park. Yay! All righty. Now, because I'm going to have to re uh, retie and everything because I tangled up last episode, probably I'm going to get to fish here for 30 minutes because we already fished on this lake. I'm not going to spend as much time here. But hopefully we can see. I mean, if we start catching fish, who knows how long we'll be here. But if I'm expecting similar. If we don't still go and catch fish here, then... Uh, we're not gonna be here probably more than half hour Or oh, fish for more than half hour. Where's the boat ramp? That's where we need to go. All right, we need to Come up here and take a left I'm probably not gonna fish at the boat ramp, but we we'll usually I usually have luck around the boat ramp Is where I fish because there's usually a lot of concrete and pilings and stuff that attracts fish At least that's my thinking anyway. We did pretty good at the boat ramp at that other lake, so Let's see. Dang, it's surprising me how many boats we've been seeing. Or, I mean, that's not a lot. You can see how much power they usually get, but... I mean, there's still people here on a Wednesday at 10 in the morning. So, we'll see. We're just going to cut all the way across here. There's actually not a lot of people. Um, we're just going to swing it right in here because we're that cool. All right. All right, let's get out and fish. All right. So, here's the deal. I took out and walked around. I went out and walked around a little bit, and um, there's not any good places to fish. You're like, literally, this park is just the boat ramp, which I... And there's a sign that says no fishing from the from the dock. So, and there's more people have showed up with boats. So, I don't think we're actually going to fish here. There is potential for next to the boat ramp, but it's really rocky, and it looks really risky, and I don't really feel comfortable going, trying to me meander, meander, maneuver around those rocks by myself. So, especially, and there's going to be boats tearing up the bottom. So, we're not going to fish here. Instead, what I am going to do is we are going to, um, I'm just going to chill here, maybe grab a snack, and look for a place maybe to go and see. I forget where I'm going next, but we'll see how, but we might just drive there, because this, yeah, this is just not a good place to try and bank fish from. All right, well, unfortunate news that's now made me frustrated um, I once again did not succeed in getting a quota from the frickin' Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. I, they just released the drawing for archery. If I don't get my general gun permit this year, I will be O for my last three, and I will be very sad, because I didn't even apply for ones that were considered hard to get. I mean, these things had, this archery, one of the archery had, like, like, there was, like, five different seasons with, like, 40 slots. So it's like... When I, I applied for two of those, and you're telling me that I didn't get it? Things in the middle of nowhere? But that's, that's crazy. And, and the other one, and for spring turkey last year, I applied for a quota that had 200 spots in four seasons, with 200 each. It was like one of the bigger WMAs around me, and it, I still got rejected. So this is like, if I get rejected from, there's no way in hell I get rejected from General Gun, because I applied for two different um, seasons in a WMA that had 500 slots. If I don't get selected for that, I'm going to cry. Like, that. This, this is rigged. This crap is rigged. Whatever, that's my rant. I'm just sad. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I uh, found the next place we're going to go is called, a place called Bushhead Shoals uh, State Park. And I'm going to try and go catch fish there as a replacement. So we're going to head up there. I was thinking about doing it anyway, but I decided to come here instead. It was between that place and um, here. And it looked like this place was better than it was, and I liked that it was on a lake more than because of the bushhead shoals on the Chattahoochee River. But it looks really beautiful, and we hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish there. So we are going to head out. All right. All right, guys, we're heading to the Shoals State Park now. Uh, 40 minutes. I ended up. Well, uh, it's 11.30 now, so I ended up staying a Take lot later. Take the next left onto Old Roanoke Road. Oh, here we go. Well, we're taking left on Old Roanoke Road. But I was watching the Gator game. We're playing Kentucky right now. And Kentucky, are, Kentucky being the poverty program that they are, is already down 3-1 and just put their pitcher out with um, one out in the first inning. Continue so for three quarters that's what I'm talking mile. about. We own all their programs, except they beat us at football last three years. But that's irrelevant. I choose to ignore that. But... At that point, we I was, I was just going to watch the first inning, 
But we're beating them so bad already that it, it's taken so long that I need to finally leave. So here we go. So now Kentucky being trash has made me not be able to watch the Gators. So even more reason to dislike them, right? All right, guys. So we just went over the, the lake we were, we were, I think we just went over, I think that's the Chattahoochee River, that's not a lake. But anyway, um, we're on Cameron Mill Road for another six miles before we go on US 27. Uh, we, and I don't even, I'm not even mad that I'm not watching the game anymore. We have just hit a grand slam with still one out in the inning. So th this game is probably already over. I might regret saying that, but now I'm not even sad that I'm missing the game. It's just I've been boring, too boring to watch anyway. It's like we're roughing up like an FCS, like a Division II school right now. This is crazy behavior in the College World Series. Down six runs in the first inning. Anyway, I'm just having to brag because baseball is really the only sport the Gators are good at currently, besides track and field. <laughs> all right, enough, enough smack talk for today. I still love you all, any Kentucky fans who are currently watching. Just so we know. Harmless smack talk. All righty. Well, we're on US 27. Got 12 miles. I appear to be the only one going on this way besides I passed one Prius going about 10 under the speed limit back there a while ago. But, yep. Oh, gee. We're going to get over over here. Uh, someone's broke down on the turn lane. All right. You see that? Bushhead Shoals. Bushhead Shoals Park to the right. Dean Road for half a mile. I swear, Georgia's WMAs and their parks are located like if there wasn't signs and I couldn't see where the road leads directly from satellite view and be a hundred percent like if there was bad good, I would I would think this is a private road and that I was just on someone's cattle farm right now. Like at the end with WMAs, I was like, there's no way that this is an access road, you know. But oh geez, let's see here. Is there a gate? This might still be an access road, or not be an access road. What is this? All right, we get down here, I guess. All right. Well, this is the journey of let's try and not trespass. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Look at this. Right here. Yay. This looks like a cool place, though, so I'm excited. Bushhead Strolls Park. That's the oh, yeah, kayak ramp. We want the ramp because it looks like there's some spots to fish. No, uh, it looks like you can... feet, you will arrive at your destination. Thank you, Google, for welcoming me. I appreciate you. Oh, jeez. That was that was way more complex than it needed to be. See you at the entrance. 